Okay, have a strap nearby. And we'll do a little strap work today. <clears throat> so come into mountain pose for our warm up. Stretch the crown toward the ceiling. Get that core activated. Sitting bones down, shoulders relaxed. And ankles, knees, and hips aligned with the shoulders. Stretch up through the crown, breathing. Focus inward. Exhale, tension. Now as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingers. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and clasp your hands behind you. Lift your heart, stretch through the spine, and pivot over as you exhale. Come into your forward position as deeply as you want, starting to stretch the back of your body out. Take a moment and breathe. Hands toward your head, <clears throat> move your chin around, release your neck, and then bend your knees slightly, start at the bottom of your spine, wind all the way up, and lift your heart. Stretch your head back as you drop your shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. <clears throat> and then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling your spine getting activated a little bit more. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. <clears throat> Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and pivot over. And again, deepen as much as your back would like. Let everything relax. Hands toward your head, move those shoulders around a little. And then knees slightly bent as you wind all the way back to the top and lift your heart. And again, stretching your head back. Make sure that you're keeping those hips over your ankles. And as you inhale, come upright and release. Take a moment feeling your body a little bit more warmed up. And arms out, palms toward the ceiling. Hands over your shoulders, clasp your hands, and bring your arms next to your ears for a side stretch. So sitting bones down, shoulders down, head up, and no twist, lean to the side. So feel the ribs start stretching apart. Push your hands away and the foot you're leaning away from down, and get that maximizing. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale, coming up, switch your arms around, keep the shoulders down, and bring your arms next to your ears again. Stretch it out, lean to the side. And again, deepen as much or as little as you need on this side, pushing the foot down and hands out the opposite direction. Inhale back up and release. Feel the sides and your spine after that lateral motion, and then stretch the bones apart for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Again, bring the arms next to your ears, straighten everything out and stretch the spine apart, sitting bones one way, crown the other, and turn to the side. Spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet, and pivot up. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. See if the weight's still on both feet. And then keeping your arms next to your ears, work your way up. Lift your heart, <coughs> elbows back, and a nice upper body only back bend. Remember, never overwork your low back in your twist. Stretch it out, keep breathing, shoulders down. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, always balance things out. And again, stretch and turn to the other side. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, pivot on over. And just deepen as much as you'd like, relaxing. Spread your toes, release any tension. 
and keep the weight on both feet. And then in an inhalation, work your way up into the upper body for your back bend. Elbows back, shoulders down, and chest high. Take a moment breathing. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, and let's swan dive forward. Pivot over, stretch it out, and then drop into right dog, just hang. Lift the sitting bones, get those legs stretching a little bit more. And then slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Toes spreading out, shoulders back toward your waist, and spine straight along with your elbows and knees. Exhale, drop back into ragdoll. And again, with your knees slightly bent, another round up from the bottom of your spine all the way into mountain pose. Take a moment, just breathing, and allow your shoulders to release and your spine to stretch apart. Now we'll do a balance practice. So go ahead, lift your toes on your balance foot. Make sure your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder line up. Activate your core, shoulders back and down, ribs toward your spine and up, and make sure your crown is over your ankles. Sink into your toes, into your base of your toes, not your toes. Make sure those toes spread out. Get a good base of support and bring your other foot up a little more or up toward your chest. As it gets stable, go ahead and work your ankle both ways. Keep it nice and flexible. And then straighten it out and put it back down, shifting to the other side. Again, heel and base of the toes evenly distributing your weight. Everything's straight and aligned, making sure that those ankle, knee, hip, shoulders are lined up and the core stays supporting your spine. Shoulders back and down. And when everything is activated, bring the other leg up. Keep it straight. Make sure you're not crossing it over. You want to make sure that it's going up also straight toward your chest. And then circle your ankle, whatever level you want to be at. Take a moment and breathe. And release. So if you're feeling balanced, challenged today, and you want a little chair or something next to you or standing near the wall, you can do that, and we'll do one more balance practice with our strap. So get your strap, nice long one is helpful, and put it around the ball of your foot area, base of your toes, and just hold it. Get the other foot grounded and centered, everything aligned just as we just did with the core active, shoulders above your hips, above your ankles. And then when you're ready, sink into your balance foot and bring the other leg out. And you can bend it first, or you can bring it straight out and up to about hip level. Just a gentle pull on the base of the toes area as it comes up. Take a moment and breathe and find your balance. Exhale, tension. And then slowly bring that foot back down. And we'll shift to the other side. <clears throat> and again, wrap that around the foot just one time gently. And allow your other foot to ground and balance you. Align, connect, keep that core activated, and everything straight up. And again, when you're balanced, bring that leg out to the front pulling gently on the strap. Take a moment, just breathing. Find your stability as much as you can. And don't forget to breathe. Push out through the heel, pull back with the toes. And again, exhale and lower the leg. Take a moment and breathe as you bring that strap to the floor and your hands to your heart. Exhale any of that balanced stress. 
And then looking at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling. A nice little back bend one more time. Exhaling, follow your hands down to your heart. Pivot on over into ragdoll. And hang. Lift your sitting bones. Get those legs starting to stretch a little bit more. Hands up under your knees and do our halfway up stretch one more time. Lengthening through the spine, elbows, knees, spine, everything straight. And exhale, bend your knees, come all the way to our child pose, coming to the floor. It's back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Give yourself a good stretch. Feel the release through the hips, through the legs. And relax. And then on an inhalation, come on up and bring your legs out to the front into staff position. Press out through your heels, sitting bones slightly behind you. And again, core activated, supporting your spine, shoulders above your hips. Warming up our hips, bring your foot to the opposite thigh and let the knee come down. You can put weight from your hands, but not pressure on the knee if you'd like to help it. Or you can bring this front leg over to the side a little bit more. Keep the knee and toes up, whichever position it's in. And again, just relax. The more you release any tension, the more things release into their position. Just breathe, letting it go. Take a moment. Let it sink a little further if it wants to. And of course, the longer you hold these on your own and the more you relax into them, the further your muscles will release and your body will incrementally move a little deeper. But just let it go as far as it wants. And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands or wrapping your arms around, pull the leg in and rotate side to side. Just getting that outside of your hip lubricated a little bit more. As you breathe and relax it, if it feels like it needs a little bit more stimulus, just bring your leg higher or closer and again, move it just gently. And then release that leg and take your yoga moment to notice the difference as we get ready to balance and do the other leg. So again, bring the foot up as high on the thighs it wants to go, knee coming down toward the floor. Toes and knees up on that straight to the front leg or pull it over to the side, doing what's right for your body, for your hips, your pelvis. Take a moment, just breathing. Exhale, let the knee come down. Again, you can have weight from your hands, but no pressure, don't push it down. That just adds resistance. Take a breath, just relax it. Allow the stretch to happen, don't force it. And then again, put your knee into your hands or pull the leg in closer and move it back and forth. Again, feel the outside of the hip giving a little bit more release. If that's working and you love it, you can make it more intense or not, your choice. Exhale and release. And again, as it gets out in front, just feel your hips, feel your body, press out through your heels, toes up, and grab your strap. So go ahead and put your strap again around that base of the toe area on one foot. We're going to move those sitting bones into connection with the surface beneath you and lean just slightly back on the sitting bones, not your sacrum, as you bring that leg up toward your head. So the other leg stays straight, toes up, knee up, pushing out through the heel, and then pulling on the strap around the base of the toes. Just let that other leg lift as high as it wants to go. Exhale. Relax through your belly, maybe move that leg up a little higher. Take a moment, just breathing. Get it as close as it wants to be. Think about pulling your kneecap toward your thigh and letting the back of the leg stretch out a little bit more. 
and then slowly lower that leg. As it gets down, just remove the strap, feel the difference on the back of the leg as well as through that hip joint. And of course, we'll balance with the other leg. Wrapping the strap around the ball of the foot area, bring the legs next to each other. Get onto your sitting bones. Bring just slightly back on the sitting bones as you lift the leg up. And again, just as high as it wants to go, straight out in front. Keep that other leg straight out as well with the knee and toes up. And kneecap toward your thigh, tighten the front of the thigh, letting that back of the leg straighten maybe a little bit more. Take a moment breathing, just pushing out through the heel. Exhale, soften your belly, and maybe lift the foot a little higher. Maximize or minimize, remember always personal practice. Keep that front leg and, oh, and elevated leg both as straight as you can. And again, as you exhale, slowly lower the foot. Release the strap, feel your legs just a little more activated as you're ready. And then let's bring the feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you, core active, crown toward the ceiling. And with that core support, just slowly lower your body onto the mat with your strap nearby. Take a moment there as you get all the way down and relax. Soften your belly, release your shoulders, and allow those toes to be straight up toward the ceiling. Exhale any tension. And then sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down, draw your heels up toward your hips, knees straight up, hip width apart. And again, press the back down a little bit more, connect into that core, and then draw both knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, pull the knees in, Feel that release through the hip flexor, stretching through the back of your leg muscles. Take a moment and breathe. Keep the right knee pulled in, extend the left leg out. Bring the heel of that back to the floor and press out through it with the toes up toward the ceiling, knee up toward the ceiling on that extended leg. Just take a moment, breathing. Pulling in with the knee. Exhale, bring that right knee over toward the side, opening up through the hip area just a little bit. Exhale, any tension. Keep the sitting bones down on both sides. And then bring the knee back up, pull it a little closer, maybe toward your heart. And then exhale and release. As the leg gets back out, notice how things are feeling a little different on each side. So, yeah, balancing once more. Sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your sitting bones, and then knees up toward your heart. Again, just wrap your arms around. And holding in the left leg this time, extend the right leg out. Bring the foot to the floor. Heel pressing out, toes up, and knee up. Take a moment there, just hugging that left knee in as much as it wants to go. <clears throat> Exhale, any tension. And on your next exhalation, just let that leg move out toward the side, opening through the hip a little bit. Again, it may not go to the floor, that's perfectly fine. Just let it go as far as it wants. Exhale, any tension. Keep both hips down. And then bring the knee back up. Pull it in maybe a little bit further. And then exhale and release. Take a moment there, feeling your hips, feeling your legs and find your strength.
And again, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, heels in near your sitting bones. Feet on the floor, feet on the floor and knees straight up. Press your back down gently and take your strap around the base of the toes on the right leg to bring the foot up toward the ceiling. And you can keep that knee straight or bent and pull the leg up toward your head or you can straighten the left leg out and press out through the heel. <clears throat> Again, just pulling the leg in the air straight up toward the ceiling. Tighten your knee a little bit. Tighten the front of your thigh a little bit. Let the back of your leg relax a little bit. Get it as straight as it wants to be. And then just pull it maybe gently toward your head. So take a moment, breathing, just relax. Soften your muscles, no tightness, just let them stretch. Tension out. Holding onto your strap, pulling those toes slightly toward you, pressing out through the heel. We're gonna bring the leg over to the right. So switching that arm to your strap to your right hand, let the side of your foot come down toward the floor. Now keep your left hip down. So take your left hand on the hip and press it down. So your foot may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Just let it go as far as it wants to go and relax. As you relax, it'll go further. Just let it go, don't force it. Side of the foot down toward the floor. Exhaling, relaxing, shoulders down, hips down, other foot pushing out as much as it wants to. Pulling just gently back on those toes on that strap. Exhale, let that leg go as far toward the floor as it wants. Breathing, releasing any tension. And then again, pulling just gently on the strap, keeping the leg as straight as you can. Bring that foot back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, soften your belly. Pull the foot maybe a little closer toward your head. Straighten the knee maybe a little bit more. And just feel what's going on. And then releasing the strap. Allow that heel to lead on the way down or keep the strap around it while you do that. Just slowly bringing that leg next to the other one. As it gets all the way down, just feel the two sides, how different they may be, and just relax. Exhale any tension. And then again, exhaling, sitting bones toward your heels, knees bending, bring your heels in again, right near your hips. Take a moment and breathe. Take your strap around the left foot and extend the foot up toward the ceiling. And again, you can keep this right knee bent, or you can go ahead and slide it out, keeping the hip down as much toward the floor as it'll go. Knees as straight as you can, pulling back with the toes, knees up straight in the same direction as your toes. And pull the leg maybe toward your head just a little bit with that kneecap tightening, front of your thigh tightening, and back of the leg relaxing. So just go as far as it wants to, breathing, putting that strap in your left hand as you just gently push out the heel. And you can bring the arm out to the side or hold that right hip down as you lower the outside of your foot over to the left, going toward the floor. And again, let it go down as far as it wants and then relax. Take a moment, just gently pulling on the strap to keep the heel pushing out, the leg as straight as it will be, and keeping this other hand on the hip to make sure that left hip doesn't roll up and over or that right hip up and over. Take a moment, breathing, exhaling, just breathing into it, letting the leg get closer to the floor as it relaxes into the position. And of course, the longer you hold and breathe, the more it will deepen into that position. 
but never force it, just let it happen. Deep breaths, exhaling any stress. And <clears throat> pulling on the strap, once again, raise that foot back up toward the ceiling. Soften your belly, pull the leg maybe closer to your head with that knee moving toward your thigh and the thigh tightening just in the front and the back of the leg straightening maybe a little bit more. Other hip down, exhaling. And again, either holding the strap and lowering the leg or releasing the foot from the strap as you let your abdominal muscles work holding you on that release. As your heel gets all the way to the floor, you know, it's the strap to the side. Take a moment to breathe and release. Exhale, back pressing down, and again, heels up right next to your sitting bones. Press your back down, draw your knees toward your heart. When doing that release through the front of the thigh, and back of the body. <clears throat> and then releasing your arms out to T position, palms up or down. We'll do a twist, bringing the knees over toward the side and turning your head toward the opposite arm. And again, just let the knees come as far toward the floor as they want. Breathe and relax, shoulders deepening and knees moving toward the floor. Pat if you need to remember, Never go too far in your twists for that low back. But if you love that, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow and get a little more lower back work if you like. And your head is turned toward the opposite arm for that neck area twist as well. So go ahead, turn it as much or as little as it wants and needs today. And make sure your shoulders stay on the floor. That's your middle back twist as well. When you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. And again, go ahead and pull those knees in toward your heart, maybe a little bit more. And bring the arms back to T position for our twist the other way. Knees going right at hip level over toward the floor as your head turns toward the arm behind you. Again, going only as far as your body wants and needs, just relax. Exhaling tension, adding if you need to, turning as much or as little as your muscles and your spine are willing. Exhale, just relaxing into that position as deeply as you like, or going further with the knees up toward the elbow for that extra low back work. Take a moment breathing, shoulders down, head turning as much as your neck needs, and don't forget to breathe. And then again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Take a moment and breathe, releasing your legs all the way out. Take a moment, just relaxing. Bend your right knee, put it on the left side. We'll do one more twist, rolling over to the left side. Hands together and knee down to the floor for that low back twist. Again, holding your left hand on the knee, your right hand up toward the ceiling, look up at it, and lower the back of the hand behind you toward the floor. Take a breath. Exhale. Just let the hand go as far as it wants to go as you look toward it. Turning your head for that neck twist. Keeping the knee down for that low back twist. Remember, pad if you need to. And let gravity bring your hand toward the floor however much your spine is ready to go with gravity into that position. Deep breath, just relaxing as you exhale. And to release, just let go of your knee, pull onto your back, slide the foot near the other one. And again, just feel that twist energy through you, getting ready, of course, to balance with the other side. Sitting bones towards your heels, left leg bending, foot to the right thigh, rolling over to the right. And again, as you come onto your right side, just hands together and knee down. Hold your right hand on the knee and your left hand above your shoulder. Palm open toward the ceiling as you lower the back of the hand behind you 
or right at shoulder level. And again, the more their knee is on the floor, that low back is in the twist. Don't overdo it if you have issues. Head turning for your neck area twist as always, again, personal practice. And gravity will bring you into your middle back twist as much as it's ready to do so with that hand going toward the floor. It may never make it, that's okay. Just let it go as far as it wants and then just exhale and relax. Releasing any tension. Letting the twist happen. Breathing it. And of course, in order to have a relaxation, go ahead and let go of your knee, roll onto your back, and let your knees release as you relax into corpse position. Hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders down, turn the toes toward each other, and then just relax your legs, soften your belly, and let your whole body grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you. Deepening as you breathe, just relaxing completely. Deep breaths in, exhaling, letting everything go. Feel your hips, pelvis, just got everything relaxing. Tension out. Letting your bodies just sink deeper into that first support. Relax your legs and hips. Lots of work there today. Just let it go. Body just sinking deeper and deeper into that earth. And as your body relaxes, just let it go from your awareness, allowing any new thoughts coming to you as they will to release as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to think about your body or anything else. Just let the content of your thoughts float away as easily as your breath. Deepening into that inner awareness. Allowing the peace within to fill you. Filling your body. Filling your mind. Just taking some moments to be peace. And if you can keep relaxing today, keep as long as you like, just deepening into that inner awareness of peace. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching, however it feels right. Moving especially through those hips, legs, and pelvis. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting arms toward your heels. Back gently pressing down, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate it's yoga work today. 
and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, go over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.